Hi, I'm Jen from the Better Beginnings team here at the State Library of Western Australia. Today we are going to be exploring a STEM themed activity. So parents, when you explore STEM concepts with your children, it can help give them a really good foundation about STEM so that when they go to school, it's a little bit more familiar for them. So have a look what I've got here on my table. Now, if you didn't know, STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering and Maths. And today we're going to be exploring the E in that, which stands for Engineering. And in particular, we are looking at bridges. So families, what I'd like to invite you to do is to go around your house and find some different materials that you think you could build a bridge out of. So if you have a look on my table, you can see I have a few different versions of bridges. So here, I've got a bridge that I've made out of books and simply a piece of thick paper. Parents, you can ask the children a few questions as they're creating their bridges. So a question for this bridge might be, do you think it's very stable? If I was to put something on this bridge, do you think it would collapse or do you think it would stay strong? So you can start with some little characters if you have some toys lying around. And even though it's made of paper and the children might think that it's a bit flimsy and wouldn't make a good bridge, you can see that I can actually fit a few of my characters on the bridge. So you can have a bit more of a play around. You could extend the bridge out so that it's a bit of a longer bridge. You could keep adding items to see how many it would take to make the bridge fall. So let's have a look at this bridge right here in the middle. Again, it's a pretty basic design. So if you've got lots and lots of Duplo blocks or Lego blocks at home, you could have a lot of fun making bridges out of blocks. And again, depending on your child's age, you can make the challenge as easy or as hard as you wish. If the children are slightly older, you could give them the challenge of making it look as um, realistic or creative as possible. You can see I've got a little bit of blue block at the bottom here and this is representing my water and if you have some animals or people you can have a go at walking them across your bridge. <laughs> now I've got a couple more over here. Again you can simply if you have some sellotape at home I've got two bits of sellotape and a ruler Again, a very basic bridge, but relatively stable. You could even use some erasers to form the edges of your bridge and you could put the ruler on that one. No matter what you've got at home, you have something you can create a bridge out of. You might have some toilet rolls, or these are just cylinder rolls from our craft storage here at the Story Place. And I've also got an egg carton. So what I've done is I've got four rolls on the bottom for the base of my bridge and I've put them underneath the egg carton and that's quite a solid bridge. If I wanted to make it more solid and secure and at this point you might like to have a look in some books and show your children some photos of different bridges, I could add some more rolls to my bridge. So if I put them in the middle, you can see if you press down on it, and again, the children can have a go at this, it's a lot more secure because it's got some extra structures underneath. So parents, I hope you can see that there's lots of different ways you can explore having fun with this engineering concept through really basic activities using everyday household items that you would have in your home. You could set your child a challenge to build a bridge out of Duplo that can hold two of their favourite picture books. You could read some stories that perhaps feature bridges like the Billy Goats Gruff and you can check out a YouTube video from the Story Place to the Better Beginnings team which has us reading this story and you could even re retell the story using some of your bridges. 
So I hope you've had fun with me today and learnt a few ideas on how you can explore this engineering concept and I hope to see you next time. See you later. Read, talk, sing, write, play.